Princesses, I'm here again with another wig review and I'm so excited to talk about this unit on my head. Now keep in mind, I just put it on and I fingered it a little bit and put some concealer in the part so I haven't had a chance to really style it or anything but I'm so excited about the potential of this wig so let's get started. Please excuse the lighting. I'm sorry, I know I'm going from yellow to brown or whatever. My computer froze up on me, the screen died so my iPad is doing the job and it is adjusting to the lighting, um, which is a feature that's both good, bad, and indifferent. Anyway, um, this wig, let me start with the specs before I get too excited. This wig is by Brown Sugar. It is uh, an Isis wig and the style color, the style is BS120. So this is a Brown Sugar Isis wig, BS120. And I'm wearing it in the color SR1B slash multi brown and I'm loving everything about this color. I'm so here for this. I hope that my screen is doing it justice. It probably a close, yeah, I figured my lighting would adjust. So when I get closer, it turns orange. But actually, um, if I step back here, this actually is a burgundy-ish sort of color wig. It's a it's a brown with some burgundy and some blondish, orangish highlights. So it really is a pretty cute and funky, uh, really cool color combination that I wish you could see. I think you can get a little bit uh, of an idea of what the color is as I get a little bit closer. And as you can see, it has the number four roots, excuse me, not number four, the 1B roots, which I actually really, really, really like. And since I'm talking about roots, look at that parting space. That's not bad at all. That is actually pretty decent parting space. Again, all I did was put a little concealer on and throw it on my head and I started playing with it. And I went, oh my God, I gotta review this wig because this wig is super sick. Um, okay, so back to the specs. So if you have a big head, this wig is definitely, definitely big head friendly. If I have a con about this wig, it is so big head friendly that I'm not even sure that it is average uh, cap size. Um, I know that for the bigger head, there's been some complaint about wigs sometimes fitting too tight, but I actually had to uh, sort of fold the back a little bit and kind of um, uh, sew it together to make it flatter for me. So, you know, you can't really see the hump because the hair itself is just voluptuous and voluminous, so you can't really tell. But that was one of the cons is that it is, you know, for a really large head and I happen to have a really tiny head. Um, but you know, that did not stop me from being here for this wig. So that's about the only con. So if you have a big head, you're going to love this. It, um, you know, it's going to fit you flawlessly and, and perfectly. Again, I haven't styled it. I just put it on and I started playing with it and went, oh my God, this is giving me straight up life. Dang, I love this wig. I love the color. I'm loving the bed head effect. I'm loving how you can just play with it and, you know, just be totally diva -fied. All right. So the security in this wig is pretty decent though. It does have two combs at the parting area, that's it. A comb in the back and adjustable straps. So you're gonna get some pretty good security with this wig. I always take extra precautions and tape mine down cause she's not gonna lose her wig under any circumstances. But overall, I really do like the fit once I adjusted it for me. So you should know that you can do that. Now this is not a lace front. So for this to be a regular wig, I think they did a really good job in creating this parting space, um, you know, and creating something that actually does look authentic. And I've gotten, you know, some good compliments on this wig as I wore it out. So, you know, with that said, I think this is a wig that you can wear a variety of places, whether you are professional, spiritual, a partier, whatever your life is. I think that this is one of those ones that you definitely want in your collection. I love her so much. I have her not only in this color, but I have her in teal because honey, she is giving me life. As you can see, I am getting a little bit of shedding and I discovered that the more I play with it, um, you know, the more those strands do come out. Now it's not a lace front, so it shouldn't really be shedding. I haven't cut into it yet. I'm probably gonna do some layering on this side just to give it a little more volume on this side because it's feeling a little flat. And I will, turn around so you can see 
the back and how voluminous it really is and the wave pattern is super curly super cute super bedhead just straight up get up and go it's storming where i am in california went outside in the rain and she's still flawless and fabulous so this is definitely one that i would absolutely recommend i love the hair texture um it's not yakky but it's not super silky either so that's a good thing. It gives the illusion of semi-natural hair, which is again, what I think a lot of people are looking for. Um, so I think you'll really like that about this wig. And of course I use this fabulous conditioning spray, Boss Remy. I love this. And when I put this in, it really helps to keep the wig from tangling. I'm not getting a lot of tangling with this wig. What I love about it is this is one of those ones because of the length and the curliness of it. If you take care of it, you'll actually have this wig forever. You know, I hate that, you know, it comes in a bag. I'm a little bit of a snob. I like a box. I like something that I can store it in that's a little cooler, a little drier, that doesn't give it a chance to be bounced all around and tangled up. But if you take care of her, put her on a wig head, keep her, you know, off the floor, because I'm so bad about that. I just take it off and throw it on the floor. My poor husband, husband to be, has to see that, uh, you know, when he comes by. But nevertheless, I think this wig is just so doggone fly. I love her. Oh my God, she's giving me so much life. Like, yes, I'm loving her. Man, she is saucy. She is super saucy. So, as always, it's really not a, not totally about what I think, but I want to know what you think. Do you think this is hot? Do you think it's not? Would you rock this one? Would you not? You got some ideas on how I can style it. What would you do with it? You know, do your own review on it. But I definitely think this is one, if you're looking for something fun and funky and fly, that you should go pick up. It's totally, totally worth it. You know, I know I got this hump here. I'm definitely going to play it, play with it a little more, style it a little more to make it look like, I would want it to look um, going out. I've been out and I've kind of been out and about so much and out in the wind. So it's looking a hot mess a little bit right now, but I'm gonna get her back to where she needs to be. I can't stop playing with it. As you can see, I'm just in love with the volume. I'm in love with the touch. I'm in love with the waves. I'm in love, I'm in love. Where has this wig been? If brown sugar stays on this track, I think they're gonna put out some really hot wigs. Don't come for my life. I know I'm late. I know I'm late, okay? I looked at this picture, I wasn't impressed. Like, who wants to look like that? But I love her, she comes in a variety of colors. If you're not really willing to explore what color, pick her up in a 1B, pick her up in a four and play with it and get used to it. As I said, I'll have, I have her in the teal and I'm definitely gonna be reviewing that, but it takes a little bit of a different makeup look. I wanna really do it up when I put that one on. But if you think this wig is hot or not, uh, please leave me some love share the comments i got her from samsbeauty.com of course i'll put the link the direct link to the wig where i purchased her she is a little bit hard to find i recommend that you do some searching because you'll find it different places different prices as always and i think what makes the difference even when you find it for a lower price is the shipping sometimes the price is low but the shipping is double so you're going to end up paying what you would pay at another website so do your research see if you can find her and rock her out, rock her out. That is what I say. So what do you say? Hot or not? It's up to you. Leave us some love if you like what you see. If there's a wig you want me to review, hit me up, holla. I'll definitely check it out. I am happy to be back. Happy to be back in the wig game. And as always, I thank you for watching my channel. Please subscribe. Don't keep me a secret. Share me with your friends. And I'll check you out later. Peace out.